marketing your moves can either be really easy or really, really hard. If you don't have this one thing in place, which I'm about to cover in literally two seconds, then you're gonna fail your marketing. That one thing is your target audience. Now hear me out, you need your target audience because if you're running a marketing campaign and you're putting it in front of people who just simply aren't interested in your music, you're never gonna build a fan base. But if you put your music and your marketing in front of people who like your style of music and are within your target audience, they're more likely to be receptive to it. But how do you actually know what your target audience is? How do you actually find your target audience? This is the big question. Well, I'll be answering that question for you guys today. I'm Josbon Music. I am the founder and owner of Josbon Music Marketing, which is a marketing agency which specializes in helping artists build their own fan bases and get to 100K plus streams. Now, how in the world do you find your target audience? Well, first, we really need to answer the question, who are the similar artists to you? Now you might think, oh, but I'm not like anyone else, I'm completely unique, but I can guarantee everyone else watching this video is saying the exact thing, which therefore doesn't make you unique. So what a similar artist, be real with me, be real with yourself, because you need to make this as easy as possible, otherwise you're never gonna find your target audience and you're never gonna build a fan base. So, <clears throat> Who are the similar artists that maybe would share a similar fan base? And to do this, we need to look at similar sounds. So who uses similar sounding beats? So what kind of instrumentals do you use? Do you use Ed Sheeran? Do you use Drake? Do you use The Weeknd? <coughs> what kind of beats do you use? What kind of vocal tonality do you have? Who is it similar to? And then also, what kind of melody, vocal melodies, or what flow do you have in your song? So then, you can figure out who has a similar flow. Is it Baby? is it Drake, is it The Weeknd, who? And then you can merge these together to then find your target audience, your similar fan base. And that, that's not the only step. Who would actually say a similar, who would say a similar fan base to you? So for example, King Carson fans probably share a similar fan base to Playboy Carties or Yeats because they make a similar type of sound, a similar type of music for a specific target audience. Now, artists such as Tyler the Creator would maybe share a similar fan base to the likes of Earl Sweatshirt or, or maybe Frank Ocean because they were in that collective before and they built that target audience. So now we've got that, we've got the other similar artists. Now, what are their fan bases like? How old are they? You know, because if you know how old they are, you know how to talk to them. Because if they're 35 plus, the platforms that they're gonna be on are predominantly gonna be Facebook. But if they're below 18, maybe TikTok, Instagram. If they're 18 to 30, still potentially TikTok and Instagram. So you need to know how old they are so you can figure out what platforms to promote on because each different age group prefers a different platform. <clears throat> now we need to figure out who do they actually follow on these platforms. So they obviously follow you know, their favorite artists, but who else do they follow? What kind of community are they? Are they in like the anime community? Are they in a gardening community? What kind of community are they in? Because so once you figure that out, now you need to figure out who are their influencers on social media, who they like to follow, because if they like workout music, or if you make workout music, now you need to figure out who are of artists who make hype, lifting music like me, and then who are the main influencers online that your fan base may follow. You know, maybe you make music that you'd listen to in the gym for workouts. All right, what target audience is that? It's probably gonna be between 16 and 30. <clears throat> okay, who do they follow on? Well, number one, similar artist, but number two, potential gym pages. And you go through all of these, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Facebook, and you figure out who they'd follow on each of these platforms. Now you need to figure out who they watch on YouTube. So do they watch certain reaction YouTubers? Do they watch certain YouTubers within your community? And now you know that in order to get in front of your target audience, you need to be running ads on these videos. Simple. Now, what forums are they in? So things like Reddit, things like Facebook groups, 
what kind of groups and communities are your target audience in? Are they into anime? So are they in anime group chats? Are they just in Playboy Carty um, subreddits? Or or what? Where are they? What what forums do they communicate? What Facebook groups or discords do they all talk in? Because once you know this, you can then go into those um, communities and you can build relationships within these communities. It's that simple. Next, what interests do they have that are maybe outside of music? And this kind of links in with the whole community thing because if they have a specific interest outside of music, they're likely to be in a community to do with that interest. So for example, if you're if you make you know stoner music, let's say, and you make similar music to what Wiz Khalifa makes and he's probably got your target audience, well, where are they gonna be online? They're probably gonna be following pages to do with smoking weed they're probably going to be in forums to do with smoking weed so then if you get in front of them on these platforms they're more likely to be receptive to you and then finally what style of life what lifestyle do they have because if you can figure out the lifestyle that they currently have and the lifestyle that they currently want then you can live out the lifestyle that they want so then they view you as somebody who's already living in the lifestyle that they want and therefore every time they want that lifestyle they will come to you because each of us have a current lifestyle that we have and a lifestyle that we'd love to live now i'm going to go back to the stoner example <clears throat> so the reason why i'm asking you what kind of lifestyle do they have is because then you need to present your lifestyle as their ideal lifestyle so for example with the stoners you would present your lifestyle as you know smoking weed all the time chilling making music playing video games etc the typical stoner lifestyle that they idealize so then you provide that lifestyle for them so every time they want it they then come to your music for it it's almost like that that solution to their needs because <clears throat> once you have a clear idea of the type of person who, who who listens to your music you know where they are online who they follow how to get in front of them what communities they engage in and then what interests they have outside of music and then also their lifestyle and what lifestyle they want you can get in front of them where they are and also to catch their attention because if you know their lifestyle you know how to catch their attention if you know what interests them you know how to catch attention so when you are marketing and getting in front of them you need to be first catching their attention and second keeping their attention so there we go that is how you find your target audience it's super simple we need to do is just answer those questions and then you're done if you like this video make sure you hit like and uh, make sure you hit subscribe thanks for watching